I'm Dr. Melanie Truen from the UC Davis Department of Wildlife, Fish and Conservation Biology and we are here at the Poudre Creek Riparian Reserve. It's uh, early spring, early March, so we're sort of transitioning from winter into spring. Places like this are beautiful and useful and they're also rare. Um, over 95 percent of this sort of riparian streamside habitat <clears throat> has been lost in California. And Poudre Creek is also uniquely special in that it was the focus of a water rights dispute back in the late 80s, early 90s. And back in the 80s there was a big drought here in California and the creek dried up completely. So this water that you see flowing here wasn't here. The the beds of the creek were dry, the fish were dying, uh, the vegetation was dying, and a group of dedicated people here in Davis got together, including the University of California at Davis, and City of Davis, City of Winters, Poudre Creek Council was formed. They got together and they said, this can't happen, we've got to keep this creek alive. The water flow, the flow regime that was mandated by the Poudre Creek Accord was designed primarily to help fishes. But areas like this are, you know, they're all intertwined. Ecology is, is interconnected and the water that flows through a riparian or a streamside environment, creeks, rivers, is, is the lifeblood of the whole region, is, the, is really what drives everything. And so the bird community alone here, especially the riparian birds, have more than doubled in density since the flow regime was insta instituted. That really surprised us. We, we didn't think it would be that strong, that there would be that much of a response this soon. The results are starting to come in and it, they're underscoring what we've been feeling when being out here that that wildlife is responding and native plants are responding. And it's, it's really heartening and um, it shows you that a little goes a long way.